If you're a little bit like me, you're trying to get the most out of the time you spend reading. I still read for fun. It's not like every moment has to be jam-packed with, you know, actionable stuff. But when I sit down and I want to read something, I want to make sure that I'm getting the most out of it, uh, especially nonfiction, and that I'm spending the time in the right areas. Um, so once I've decided um, on a book, uh, there's a couple things I do as well as the lead up, I guess, to that. And that's kind of where short form comes in. And I'd like to talk today about how I've been using it. Uh, it's a tool I've been using for a long time. I really like it, recommend it uh, to many people. And if you kind of like the ideas of what I'm gonna share here, then I highly suggest uh, checking it out. So let's kind of get into it. Um, the way I kind of uh, initially used this was just like, oh, it's neat, it's book summaries. And as you can see on the title of their page, right, they say way more than book summaries. At the beginning, just thought, hey, this is neat. These seem to be really good uh, summaries, uh, kind of some social proof. People I knew and respected as far as their reading habits, um, you know, had good things to say about short form. Um, so that's kind of what initially got me interested. Uh, and then over time, what that kind of led into was um, kind of using it as a funnel to see, hey, maybe I've got like three or four books I'm really interested in. People have been recommending things to me. I'm not sure which one I want to read. I could hop into short form and take a look at their summaries and kind of see which one maybe made the most sense or had the lesson I needed or, you know, things like that. Um, and I could go through their uh, summaries and then decide which book to fully read. Wonderful way to do it. Totally worth it just for that alone. Um, but since then, there's been other things that have come up that I really, <clears throat> excuse me, I really, really enjoy using it for and get a lot of value out of. And one of those is books I don't finish. There's been some books. Uh, most recently, I got a pop-up notification. Um, let me see. I used to have it over on my shelf, um, but since I'm not reading it anymore. Anyways, there was a book that uh, on the mobile app, it popped up. Um, one of the few apps that I allow notifications on because it says, you know, like, hey, there's a book available. Here's a summary, etc. And it was a book that I had put down several months ago. I was interested in the topic, but I wasn't willing to put in another, I think I had like another 300 pages, but it was really interesting. I think it's topical. It's uh, just about the way things are in the world right now, how this author sees it changing. Um, so that was a perfect example of, oh, you know what? I'm going to hop in and take a look at their book summary uh, and go through that and see, okay, what's the rest of the book? Um, what are the main points of it? I can get the gist of it. And then if it's really like, oh, I really want to dive into that more, I can go and actually finish the book or just say, oh, okay, I now get the general idea of the entire book. I understand the main arguments, et cetera, et cetera. And okay, great. I can kind of close that chapter and still get the important uh, kind of points out of it. So that's been really nice. And like I mentioned a minute ago, this is one of the very few apps that I actually like having notifications turned on. Um, it's very nice to see what's available, to get notified when there's something, a new book uh, that they recommend, and you can hop right into it from the app. Um, it does also connect with Readwise, which is really nice, so if you want to highlight something, that'll get transferred over. So just to uh, show you, let me move my face out of the way and make this a little smaller. So, you know, this is what the dashboard looks like. Obviously, I'm showing this to you on a uh, browser. They also have great mobile apps. Uh, but you can come in and let's just say uh, we wanna look at books. Um, and I'm, that's what I'm gonna focus on. There's more in here, like I said, this is definitely more than summaries. They do have articles. Um, you can highlight, or rather uh, save things, you, you know, bookmark, save things for later. Um, but let's hop in like, okay, here we go. Million dollar habits. We could download the PDF. Um, this is really handy if you need to take something offline, uh, maybe you need it in another system. Um, you can also <clears throat> go in and quickly see about the book um, and see, you know, oh, okay, maybe I wasn't sure if I wanted to read this, um, but now you can uh, take a look at that. So let's click on, I opened this up a minute ago, but um, we have always a one page summary here at the top. So again, this is going a little bit more than just about the book and it's giving you the summary of the entire book and then diving into it. And you can see here, um, if you wanted to, you could read through this fairly quickly. It depends on the book, um, of course, and the content that's being presented. Or you've got a couple options over here, okay? On the left, you can adjust your settings. Um, we can look at the table of contents, and this is really important, you can listen. So you can just uh, click the play button. It's the same on mobile. You can adjust the speed super handy so maybe you're going out for a walk you could pop this on and figure out you know hey is this a book i want to invest more time and effort into 
Um, is this an idea I'm interested in? Or, hey, like me, maybe I didn't finish reading that book, but I really want to finish the the idea and get the gist of it um, and stay on top of that. That can be really handy. Um, I really enjoy having that. And then, of course, you can add this to favorites. And just another setting, you can uh, have it in dark mode if you want. So I think, uh, you know, when people hear of these book summarizers, it's like, yeah, that's great. Maybe to, that first idea of, of finding out, oh, okay, is this book of interest? Is this the main idea? But I think with the added kind of bonus of being able to finish up a book, like especially a nonfiction where, you know, maybe you got uh, stuck, it didn't keep your attention, but you want to kind of obtain some of the information, this can be really helpful. Having the mobile apps is great. And then the tie-in. Uh, to me with Readwise is just icing on the cake um, and being able to to download some things for offline as well. So anyways, cool tool. Uh, check it out. Highly recommend it. Of uh, all of the book summarizers, I've used several. Um, this is currently my favorite. Uh, short form is definitely a, a great one and there are some good ones out there, uh, but this is my go-to uh, at least uh, right now. All right. If you have any questions, comments about short form, about any of this, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks.